All right, guys. So. Previously on Beard Eats World. In the past four days, I've been on a mission to conquer the ultimate ramen challenge. To eat at all 17 ramen shops inside Sapporo's famous ramen alley. From rich miso broth to savory soy sauce based ramen, I've delved into a soupy world of culinary delights. Each bowl offering a tantalizing glimpse into Sapporo's vibrant ramen scene. And now, as I prepare to face the final frontier of this soupy challenge, one question looms large. Will I emerge victorious in this challenge? And... Hey, Brie friends, how's it going? It's Lawrence here, and we are on the fourth day, last day of the Ramen Tour, down Ramen Alley in Sapporo. And our first shop, we're gonna be hitting up this bad boy here. They're famous for their spicy miso ramen. First things first, let's go in and take a look and take, have a taste. So we just sat inside here, the name of this uh, ramen shop, where it is. And this will, of course, will be listed down below. But um, yeah, this place is famous for their spicy miso ramen. I believe there's only one other one on the block that's famous for miso ramen, but this one is, they claim to be the one and only, the good, the best spicy miso on the block. The spicy miso ramen. Just look at all the delicious toppings. We got a tonkatsu broth, green onions, sprouts, and the star of the show, that mouth-watering chashu. This bowl smells absolutely amazing. Can't wait to dig in. So, let's go in with the first sip. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. That really good broth. It's very savory. You got the, the miso paste. You can taste the miso paste in there. It's very savory. It's got the good pungent like miso flavor, but also deep uh, pork broth. A nice layer of fat as well. So, you know, there's a bit of a heavier side. It's not that thick. You know, it looks, it's pretty runny as well. So, yeah. mm. I already knew it. Now, let's take a closer look at these noodles. These thin noodles are cooked to perfection, firm yet tender, with a satisfying chewiness that pairs perfectly with the rich broth. And then we have the char siu, which is the true star of this dish. The thick sliced pork is tender, succulent, and bursting with flavor, allowing the sweetness of the sauce to penetrate every juicy bite. When paired with that creamy egg and hearty broth, the char siu elevates the entire dish to a whole new level of deliciousness. Now, let's talk about that spice level. But it's not like crazy spicy. I'll say like maybe that's three to four. You know, the, the spice in it is there. You can taste it. But so, you know, I'm not sweating. It's not too spicy. It's not like Vietnamese spicy or high spicy. But I should not compare it to that stuff. I'm just saying it as yeah. You, you taste the spice there, but it's not powerful in that. It's just like no, that not that kind of spicy. Is it? Maybe we'll spice it up just some pepper. Oops, maybe a little too much by accident, but let's go in. Look at that bite right there, guys. All right, here we go. Miso ramen, spicy miso ramen I've had like ever, period. And this is definitely by far the best uh, spicy miso ramen I had here, even though I've only had one at one. But this is really good. Not no diss to the other one, but this is just more up my alley. The thinner noodles, the soup of thick, fatty, and tender piece of chashu. shoe. Mm. This bad boy right here is just alone as a winner. Spice level is good here, but flavor is just so, so flavorful. The, the miso that they use here is like a darker, more pungent, very strong, good umami as well. Excellent. Even after four days of eating ramen straight, you think I'd be sick of this? Like, no, this is bringing me right back to life. This ramen right here is reminding me of how much I love ramen and how much I love doing this shit. It's like, and now I'm just excited to try the rest because I did save the best for last. And just like that. Not All right, so we are here at the next spot here. So it is right here, Sapporo Ramen uh, Haruka. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but this place is na no, uh, famous for this uh, ramen right here. I think it's just a miso ramen. They got some lotus root in there. This place is back though. Got lotus roots, scallops, and uh, some seaweed in there. Looks quite delicious. I really want to try that. I'm most likely going to hit this up. But they also have this special on the menu. 
Look at these. Oh. Super spicy miso ramen. And I think you could choose your level of spiciness as well. But unfortunately, this is not their special. Even though it is recommended, I'm not going for it. Just because this, this is what they're known for. So I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna hit up. You know, they only have like eight seats and they're full right now. So I'm just in queue waiting for someone to leave so I can make my way in. But until then, hopefully, you know, I digest a little, uh, make some room for the next one. So I'm excited for this bad boy. We're here at this cozy ramen joint, ready to slurp up some serious noodles. Now the hard part, choosing what to eat. I decided to go for the signature dish, the Seafood Delight Ramen. Here it is, a steaming bowl filled to the brim with goodness. First impressions? Well, the broth is rich and so flavorful with that seafood sweetness from that fresh scallop. I've never had any ramen like this before. And as for the noodles, they're cooked perfectly, springy with just the right amount of chew. And as for the toppings, from the plump scallops to the crunchy lotus roots, each ingredient adds its own unique flavor and textures to the bowl. With every spoonful, I'm treated to a symphony of flavors that dance on my taste buds. And just like that, crushed another bowl. All right, pretty friends. So yeah, this place is actually really good. Like first time having a scallop or seafood type of ramen. Well, you can really tell by the broth. It's very clear, clean, absolutely delicious. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over, but this place is definitely worth a try. I can see why they've uh, been so busy. I waited almost like 20 to 30 minutes for this place and it's definitely worth the wait. So next time you come through, this is unique. This is one of a kind. There's nothing else on the uh, in this alley like this place. Everybody else is doing pork broth here. Scallop seafood broth. It's amazing. But that's it for now. So we'll see you guys at the next spot. All right, foodie friends, how's it going? So here we are in our first stop. First of our last two places of the uh, Ramen Alley tour here in Sapporo, um, down the Ramen Alley. This one is a special one. I wanted to hit this one last, but then the other place, because you know, there's uh, two more left to go. But the other place I wanted to go to first before hitting up this place yeah. isn't open yet. Not sure why they're open. They weren't open all day today. Not sure, and it's a Friday, so I'm not sure it's uh, out of business or what's going on, but hopefully we get to hit that shit up before we get to leave. But either way, I'm here right now, and I wanted to say this place for last because this place is a little special. This one is um, they specialize in seafood. All right, before I dive into this bowl, let's talk about the special little spoon. I love how it's designed to scoop up every last bit of deliciousness here. Now let's take a closer look here. We got some succulent Hokkaido crabs, plump scallop, melt in your mouth chashu, and a perfectly marinated ramen egg. And last, but certainly not least, the star of the bowl, the broth. This one's a symphony of flavors with the rich miso base, creamy butter, and sweet corn. The flavors and taste of Hokkaido all in one bowl. We're gonna steam right out. Alrighty guys. Oh, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. But, oh my god. So delicious. This broth is so rich, thick, creamy. So flavorful. This is, all this is actually only for 1500 yen, but it is on the smaller side. But you know, you can understand why, because you know, it's throwing the crab, the scallop, and the chashu all in one with the eggy too. Them. Mm -hmm. oh my. Really good. The chashu is so soft, so tender, and so fatty, moist, and not dry whatsoever. And for that scallop, ooh wee, so plump and meaty with that fresh seafoody sweetness, just perfect. Here, we got that sweetness from both the corn and seafood, and the savoriness from that pungent flavor of the miso. This bowl is just full of umami that's hitting the taste buds all at once. It's a culinary dance of all the flavors from Hokkaido in one bowl. But wait a minute, what is this? Is this a stack of roll? I'm not sure, let me know in the comments below. But uh, yeah, this scallop. And this concludes our culinary adventure here at Ryoto. From the rich broth to the succulent seafood, each bite was a revelation. So if you ever find yourself in Sapporo, make sure to stop by at Ryoto and indulge in their Hokkaido special ramen. It's an experience you won't soon forget. Now, let's enjoy this final bite. It was so delicious. Mm. 
and just like that. Number 15. There we have it, guys. So this place, I think it's, I believe uh, this is Ryuto, Ryoto, 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 Ryoto ramen. Excellent. Excellent seafood uh, ramen. This bowl here is everything Hokkaido is all in one bowl. You got the miso ramen, the butter, corn butter ramen, the Hokkaido scallops, and the crab. Everything this island is all about, all in one bowl right here. Excellent flavor. It's really good, really delicious. Highly recommend this place. But yeah, one more to go. On to the next. Thanks, pretty friends. All right, pretty friends, that's it. Just finished eating at every single ramen shop here at the famous Sapporo Ramen Alley in Hokkaido. So that was 15 out of 17 potential ramen shop. Uh, one of them, I'm not sure if they're doing renovations or not, but it looked like it was there, but uh, they never opened the four days I was here. And the second shop, well, you can tell by here, it's completely closed, shut down. I'm not sure what's going in there, but hopefully something good soon. But so that's 15 out of 17 shops. So when I first got here, I came straight from Vancouver to Sapporo. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was excited, hungry, and ready to eat ramen. It's it was in the winter and I was ready to warm up to some hot ramen. Yeah, so 15 ramen in four days, not bad, right? Wasn't sure what to expect, but I was definitely shocked and surprised with the variety of ramen they had in this alley. To be honest, I thought it was going to be more or less the same, but very pleasantly surprised to see every shop it was completely different and had their own take and no two bowls were the same and no two shops were even close to being the same. So. My favorite shop here between all of them was hands down had to be the salmon based Michelin ramen from Ichikira. Also, the first shop was really good too, but I'm not sure it was because it was the first shop and the first one I hit up that was just kind of blew my mind. But on top of that, one of the last ones I hit up, Gallop Ramen from Hakuta Ramen, and that was probably the most unique bowl. It was a fresh scallop ramen. The broth was super clear and full of scallop flavors. It was definitely the most unique and different ramen, not just on the alley, but that I've ever had in my life. Finally, uh, hit me up in the comments below if you've ever been here. And if you have, tell me about your uh, experience here in the ramen alley. What did you enjoy? What did you like about this? Which one was your favorite? And tell me, from all the shops you've seen here, which one would you try, like to try the most? And tell me, what's your favorite type of ramen in general? And if you haven't already, check out the previous three parts of the series. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you all at the next stop. Thank you.